this video, I'll show you how you can download the desktop app of ChatGPT. So it's a new version of the ChatGPT desktop app, which is available only for Mac at the moment, but they will release it soon for the other devices too, like Windows. But this is only available. This app is only available for the GPT plus users to download it. But I'll give you the link to download it also for you. And you can just go ahead and log in and use ChatGPT directly on your Mac. This app has a lot of new features, which I'll show you right now how you can use them, how you can uh, interact with them and what's new and really exciting. So let's get straight into it. And here, as you can see, I have the link on my website, which you can find the link on the description to download the app. It's a blog post on my website on showing you how to download it and use it. But what you can do is just click on this download here button. As you can see, just click on this big button here and it will download it directly a DMG file here on your Mac. So you know that the DMG files are the files that you can install in Windows. So as soon as you that is downloaded, just click and open this and it's very easy. Just drag and drop it inside the applications. So I have already dropped it. After doing that, just open the spotlight search and for search for chat GPT or you will have chat GPT here on your apps. So now that uh, I have downloaded, I can just go ahead and open chat GPT. So the first screen that it will show you is to uh, go ahead and log in. So make sure to log in with your account, log in with Google or any uh, other connections that you have with ChatGPT. And this is going to work for you also, but I have the ChatGPT 4.0 and ChatGPT 4 and also the plus version, but it also works for the free version that you have in your account, ChatGPT 3.5. So you can ask any questions. Hello, how are you? And it's a lot, a lot faster that in the web, like you can see the difference here on the app and the desktop app than that you do in the web version. So uh, I'm going to ask you, can you generate a Python code with NumPy examples? So as you can see, it's generating like really fast the code and everything. So here it's finished and gives you some examples of Python using NumPy. If I, if I click here on the side, it will show you all the chats that you have. And also you can go ahead and uh, change the model here, or you can explore all other GPTs here. Here is all GPTs that you can uh, use, or you can just directly use like for image generation, for text generation, code generation, and for medicine, for learning, for studying and everything and here you can change the model I'll change to GPT 4.0 which is the new model here on chat GPT but now that uh, I it changed as you can see it has a file place where you can upload files you can upload a file like whatever file it is an Excel a PowerPoint and or uh, an image so I'm I'll try to uh, to upload a file here. I'll find a random file here. It's a shape file. Let's see if the chat GPT understands. So can you explain me what is in this file? So it's analyzing and will show you what's inside. But if you put the Excel data or on any other files, it is going to directly uh, analyze all the data and also visualize it to you. So it's a shape file and it shows you the ge geometry and everything. So it explains the file, but I'll search for an Excel file. Maybe I have here so I can show you. OK, so I, ha I put an Excel file with some links and I'll ask which is the longest link on these data. After analyzing the file, it's a search for the longest links here on these files. So as you can see, it shows you them. It's something else you can do here on GPT plus is that you can take screenshots of the current uh, pages. So click on take a screenshot and we'll show you the windows that you have opened. You can also take a screenshot of the entire screen, but I'll take a screenshot of the Chrome browser. And as soon as you click, it's going to attach the screenshot of the Chrome browser that I have already opened and I'll ask uh, can you summarize so it's summarizing what the chat GPT 4 see on this window so it directly take the screenshot and is sent here and is summarizing what's inside shows you categories and everything something really cool feature is that when you are using your computer and want to directly ask chat GPT for anything like just like you ask the, your computer we're using spotlight search to open something you can also do this for the chat GPT like pressing option and space and it'll open a quick search box here and you can send directly a prop like uh, what is the value of P It's going to directly open the new chat and show you the answer for this. Uh, something else that you have is that you can generate images too. generate an image 
off of a bike swimming. Okay, here, as you can see, generated a really nice image, you know, realistic image of a bike under the water. It looks like it's swimming. <laughs> also, you can, okay, also we have the chat GPT voice chat, which you can click on here on these uh, icon and directly open the voice chat. Hello, chat GPT, show me some data of inflation in the last years or in the 2023 year for each month. Here is the answer of the chat GPT with voice. And if I click on this small blue icon here is the code and it shows you the code and the results of this code. Ask like, can you show me a chart for these data? And it directly generated a chart for me. So it's mind blowing, like a chart here that you can directly use for information or for rework or for studies or anything. You can ask for a lot of other things the chat GPT so chat GPT can you explain me about what how dopamine works in the brain Okay, so I'm going to interact and also shows you information here. So this was a ChatGPT desktop app version, which is really good, really fast, and you can directly use it from your Mac without going to the web browser, especially with the feature of the option and space, which you can directly ask something without needing to go to the app first. So these was the features for today, guys, in the ChatGPT. Hopefully you like it. Please smash the like button. Let me know if you are interested more about AI content, like how you can do amazing things with AI. So see you in the next one.